Okay, class, today we are going to log into our skinny Google Classroom. So you've already logged into your Chromebook and you will go to your drive because we've got a drive to the classroom. And after we get to our drive, we'll go back up to the waffle and we'll go down here to more and click on more and right underneath our pointy finger is the classroom icon so we will click that now this is my Google classroom page and as you can see I am uh, enrolled in two classes that I do for teacher stuff and then I have four classes where I assign students work. So you're going to be joining my sixth grade skinny class today. What you'll do is you'll go over here to the plus sign that's right by your login name. And when you click that, it'll say join class. You're not going to create a class today. You're going to join a class. And when you click join, a little box will pop up that looks like this. And it says enter class code to join. All right, I'm going to hit cancel. You don't hit cancel. You leave your class code box on your screen. Now, I'm going to go over here to the skinny. And I'm going to open our classroom. And you are going to join the class by typing in this code, 7NC29X, 7NC29X, and then click Join. Alright, so this is what you're going to see when you join the class. And our first assignment in our skinny period this week is to complete a news ELA activity. So you're going to choose one of these three articles, any one that you want. This one is about the floods that we just had in Louisiana and how it's impacted schools. So if you're interested in that, you can read that one. This one is about the fossil of a monster sea creature that was discovered in Scotland. If you're interested in monster sea creatures, you can click that one. The last choice is about an invasive species that is causing havoc in the Gulf of Mexico, lionfish. I actually had a neighbor who had a tank full of lionfish. Creepy and weird. Okay, so you are going to click on the one that you like. Now, that is not all you do. When you enter class today, I gave you a slip of paper that told you uh, a number with the letter L. That's what you're going to need next. So let's say you want to click on this monster sea creature one. When you click on it, you're going to read the article and make five color-coded annotations by clicking on a sentence and picking a highlighted color and typing who, what, when, where, and why to help you analyze the text while you're reading. So we're not just reading for fun, we're reading to do a job today. So we're going to be looking for the who, what, when, where, and why. You've probably heard of those. Those are the five W's. Because after you finish reading, you're going to be taking a quiz. And then I will record your quiz score before you exit off your quiz screen. And the more good results you get on your quizzes, uh, we will bump your level up. Okay? So let's take a look at an example of the Monster Sea Creature article. 
So after you click on the article that you want to read, you will go over here to this blue box. In the blue box, you will click on the tab that has that number that I gave you with the letter L. So let's say you have the 820L. I clicked on it. I give it a second to go because it's going to change my article to fit my reading level. Let's say I need to read in the 950L. Then you just saw how it changed. Let's say I go up to 1130L. It changes again. And so the higher or lower my number is, the article will change to fit my needs because everybody's reading differently. Okay, so let's go back to 820L. Give it a little second to change, and there we go. All right, so as we read, remember that we're going to be looking for the who, what, when, where, and why. So, just by glancing at these first two sentences, I see a who. And the first uh, ancient sea creature that was discovered is finally being revealed in a museum. And they call it an Ichilosaurus. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Um, but its common name is the Store Locks Monster. So I'm going to click on the right button. And I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to highlight that sentence because I want to highlight it, the first color I see, and I'm going to write something up there. And this is the what that my article is about. Okay? Let me do that again. And I'm going to write what. And then I just click off of that. And then I see right here that I've got a yellow line that indicates what I marked in my article is the what. All right, so after I read my whole entire article and I do all my annotations for the five W's, I'm going to click the X button and click off of right. Now, I'm going to click on my quiz. Now, on the quiz, you will see four questions that you will answer and we'll see what your score is. Remember, don't click off the quiz until you raise your hand and let Miss Gregory see your score and mark your score on my notepad by your name. Okay. So, you can all start by clicking on whichever one of those articles you would like. And begin. 